Now, millions of people travel to Yellowstone each year to experience all of the park's unique features. Geysers, bison, and bears are high points of any visit. But as we recently found out, this week visitors will also get to experience the park's earliest history through a new program called the Tribal Marketplace. There's a very famous um, Metchif uh, leader, and he said that when the Native people are come back again and are successful again, and bring our fight forward, it will be our artists. And I really hold that in my heart. And this week, the artists are coming to Yellowstone. This is where my people came from and uh, where we hunted. We still today hunt, we still today eat elk. Elk is, for the Crow people, our main jewelry. This is my heirloom from my grandmother, my late grandmother that passed on. These are family heirlooms, and these are elk teeth. What we're really talking about here is sharing, not just the land. Yellowstone's 2.2 million acres is the first national park, but it's features like that elk standing back there. People come from all over the world to take picture of the wildlife here in the park. Remember, for the indigenous people who lived in this area for thousands of years, that was a food source and a source of clothing. Sharing of the cultures, both the old and the new. Not all participating this weekend are from the Yellowstone area, but that doesn't change the power of this place. As I was driving into the park, it is, um, it's spiritually overwhelming. I, I don't, I, I, I really can't put into words right now what I hope to take away. Hope, I hope to take away some new friends um, when I leave and to learn about their culture and, um, and for them to learn about mine. The work of these artists will go beyond culture sharing. It will also serve as role model. And I think empowerment is a great word for it. Elevation of voice, empowerment of spirit. That's incredibly important because if you feel underrepresented or misrepresented, you need someone to come and be a mirror. And all of a sudden you can look and say, that's me. That's where I can be. That's where I can go. And these artists are very much giving our students that opportunity. And what do they hope folks take away this week? I think as uh, indigenous women, you know, we can stand, stand alone as the painting that I said uh, title stands alone. But when we come together, we, we come together and we're a force to be reck reckoned with. We are still here as indigenous people. We are still here and we are growing and we are beautiful and fabulous. In Yellowstone <laughs> National <laughs> Park, Chet Lehman, MTN News. <laughs> The, uh, yes, you are. That was awesome. Fabulous. What a great group of people to spend some time with, too. They're, they're just three of the nine artists who are going to be uh, on display at the Old Faithful Inn. There's going to be a fashion show as a part of all of this as well going on today. And this is an ongoing thing that uh, Yellowstone National Park is open. This to do. is fascinating, it's, it's Jet. Super cool. You yeah. went yesterday, you had spent kind of time a, with a them. long yeah, day. It was great. But wow, you get to meet everybody and yep. just see all their stories and hear and, it firsthand. And sharing their culture with us and learning back as well and I it's all it. part of the Yellowstone culture this isn't something new it's been going on there for thousands of years Tracy Rabbit's painting with the woman with the top fierce is how I describe that painting fierce, fierce. yep incredible Beautiful. Oof. yeah so head on cool. over to our website for more uh, information about the trouble what is a fashion show today in the park 11 o'clock go do it